Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Arif, your Cloud Learning Journey Partner. In today's video, we're going to cover a very interesting topic that is AWS CloudTrail. Uh, suppose you have created a new AWS account, but uh, you are not quite familiar with all the uh, security things and uh, all the configuration that are required. Uh, in that case, AWS CloudTrail will definitely make your life easy. Using AWS CloudTrail will make sure that all the activities under your AWS account, all the API calls, everything is uh, recorded as a log. So if you face any sort of uh, security issue, you can always uh, look into these logs to find out what was the exact problem. So after watching to this video, you'll be able to create this AWS CloudTrail uh, logs uh, from scratch and uh, then you know, will know how to store it, how to make sure that your logs will be uh, deleted after a certain period of time. So we're going to cover it all. So uh, before starting the video, I just want to talk about myself. Well, I am Arif. I do have more than eight years of experience in cloud computing and cybersecurity. I hold my Multiple certification in AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. Beside that, I also hold CI, SSP, and CSP certification. So this channel is all about cloud computing and cybersecurity. And if you are interested in this field, this channel is definitely for you. So in, I'm planning to upload a lot of videos later this topic. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. I have logged into my AWS account, and from here, uh, let's uh, search for CloudTrail. We're gonna open CloudTrail in a new uh, tab so this is the cloud rail console and right now i'm under this uh, north virginia region so i'm gonna create a cloud trail under the north virginia region so in the left panel you can see some subsections uh, but we're gonna look into it later first uh, let's create a trial from scratch so here we have two options one is the easy way to uh, create it with a, a quick trial create we don't uh, want to do that we want to see the ins and out we want to see the details so for that we need to click the dashboard and from here we can click create trial so here we see a much better uh, settings and everything we can uh, customize it according to our need so i'm gonna call it a test test trial all right, so the next option that we have is to enable for all accounts in my organization. Well, currently I am uh, not using AWS organization feature. So right now we, I just only have access to my one and only single personal account. So this uh, feature is not applicable for me. So I won't uh, take this uh, point. The second, the third thing is that the storage location. So. Uh, uh, a good question could be that, uh, okay, so if we are storing all the API logs and all the activities, so why are we should store that? So for that, we need to create a S3 bucket. Under the S3 bucket, all of our logs will be stored as a, a, date, a date basis. So uh, it's easier to navigate that way. Uh, we do have two options. The first option is that uh, if uh, we have access in the bucket, we can just select it from here. And the second option is that if we don't have any S3 bucket uh, created previously for this cloud trail, then we have to create a new S3 bucket. So in our case, uh, we're gonna create a new S3 bucket. Um, and this is the prefix all are uh, pre-generated by AWS. And the next feature is log file SEC KMS encryption. So uh, this is an advanced feature to uh, encrypt log files with SSE KMS. Uh, one thing to remember in here, if we want to use SSC KMS, then uh, we are using another AWS service that is named as the Key Management Service, AWS KMS. And for that, we have to pay some uh, extra money. So this is a more of a like a test uh, um, cloud trail for that. Uh, I'm not going to uh, take this option. But if you are enabling uh, cloud trail in your prod AWS account, this feature is highly uh, recommended. So if uh, you are planning to do it in your prod, please do that. But I'm gonna just untick this one. Okay, and then the additional settings, so log file validation. So what is log file validation? So it, this is a tricky part. So suppose in your AWS account, uh, you have uh, some uh, production application running on and some uh, hacker uh, hacked into your AWS account and did something malicious. And the hacker is very intelligent and uh, the hacker also tried to manipulate the log files too, so that you can't find the trace or you can't see like if something goes happened wrong in the application. 
So uh, it, it is a very common practice if the hacker is very intelligent. So how you can remediate that? If you enable this uh, log file validation, so for every single log, some sort of hash value will be created. So, and uh, you can, uh, if you kind of doubt that something happened, you can always check your log file against these hash values to find out whether your, ha your log files were manipulated or somebody altered it. Isn't it cool? So if you, once you do it, then there is no chance that the hacker can uh, um, erase all the tracks of uh, uh, activity that shouldn't be under your AWS account. So it's always better to enable this feature. And we also have a feature to an SNS notification delivery. So if we also want to uh, create a notification system, we can also do that. So whenever uh, for, a, for a certain sort of events, we can also deliver notification um, so we will be alerted for any sort of this event. For this tutorial, I don't want to enable this feature. So I'm just gonna untick this option. All right, so the next one is that CloudWatch log logs. So if you also want to do that, so cloud, uh, configure CloudWatch logs to monitor your trial logs and notify you when a specific um, activity occurs. So it's also for uh, some sort of uh, uh, prevention mechanism, but I don't want to enable this because it requires some extra uh, configuration and you have to pay some extra money for that. And here are some policy documentation that is uh, that will be attached with our CloudTrail event. We can also add some tags if we want to, but uh, right now I don't have any uh, CloudTrail, so it's uh, easy to uh, find out my cloud trail newly created so i won't uh, create this uh, tags for this uh, video In the next uh, section here we do have uh, this option choose log events so we have multiple types of log events like event type could be a management events event could be a data events event could be a insights events so if you are configuring it for your AWS prod account and it's a uh, mission critical thing then you have to select all of these three because you want to know what happened in your management events what happened under your data events like log the resources and operations performed on within a resource so it's more in detailed way and the insight events too but uh, as this is just a tutorial I'm just gonna go with the management events and under management events here we do have a few uh, variations too, like the API, API activities. We have read activities, write activities. We can also uh, check this one, like exclude AWS KMS event. A good question could be why should uh, we exclude AWS KMS event? Earlier I mentioned KMS stands for key management service. So whenever we are dealing with any cryptography configuration, we always want to make sure that it's very secure, it's confidential. If we uh, log those, maybe some very confidential information about the key name or the key pair or any sort of like the algorithm that was used can be exposed. If you want to make sure that uh, uh, your uh, events your management events doesn't contain this sort of uh, critical information then it's always a good practice to exclude AWS KMS events and uh, the same way we can also exclude the Amazon RDS data API events if we want to make sure it's uh, uh, not required us to uh, monitor the AWS RDS data events API events all right so now i'm gonna hit next and this is the section where we will see all the uh, configuration that we have uh, specified earlier so this is a summary version we have to just uh, double check everything and once we are pretty certain that everything is configured correctly then we just need to hit this create trial option and uh, i have created it so right now you can see a new trial has created under my North Virginia account and uh, this one is multi-regional trial. So what do we mean by multi-regional multi trial? Even though it's uh, residing under North Virginia region, it is tracking all the regions. So when I'm talking about all the regions, if I click in here, here you can see so many regions uh, that uh, AWS uh, has deployed in multiple part of the world so right now if i deploy any sort of resources on a, if i do any sort of activities under any different region all will be tracked under this uh, test trial isn't it cool and here we can see our uh, 
uh, trial logs, uh, S3 bucket. So I will try to generate some logs and after a few minutes, then we will look into the S3 bucket to understand like how these logs are saved. And we'll try to look closely what kind of information are gathered by these logs. So uh, now if we click this uh, S3 bucket link, it will uh, redirect to the S3 bucket. So this is the bucket and under the bucket, a new folder was created uh, that is AWS logs. And uh, this is uh, the number. You can see this, uh, the same number in here. So this is, this means the account ID. So if I click in here, we do have two more folders. One is CloudTrail Digest and another is CloudTrail. And we're gonna click this CloudTrail and uh, here you can see there are two options one uh, two folders again because cs central is for uh, the canada region and us east one is for uh us uh, region and under 2023 10th is the month and 8 is the date and here you can see uh, we do have the lock so in this way every time any sort of api calls under aws account any sort of activities will be logged under this cloud trail so it not only just help you to uh, have a track but also sometimes if you want to comply with some uh, compliances and uh, standards like iso 27001 gdpr uh, pci dss you really need to ha store these logs so this cloud trail really helps to make sure that you are uh, following the standards that are required to follow Congratulations guys for reaching this far of this video. Today we covered a very important uh, topic that is AWS uh, CloudTrail, how to track AWS uh, activities under a specific S3 bucket, how to log all of these activities. So uh, if you guys have any questions or any doubt related to this uh, CloudTrail, please let me know in this comment section and I'm gonna reply back in a very short period of time. Uh, thank you so much guys for watching my videos. It means a lot to me. Uh, if you want me to cover any specific topic related to IT, cybersecurity, or even for uh, uh, career advice let me know under this comment section and i will definitely reply back if you found this video helpful please uh, like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos i have tons of videos and topics to cover in future um, thank you so much guys that's all for today have a great and wonderful day